This is stacked full of shoes. Now, if they're all Jordans, that's gonna be insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are lying. You are lying. What is oh, they're heavy. I'm a little bit out of breath from opening all these Jordan boxes. Hey y'all, as you can tell, I'm standing in a storage unit. We did buy this storage unit for $175. We already went through this half of it right here, found crazy amount of Jordans. Like, yeah, what, like 20 pairs? Mm -hmm. 15 to 20 pairs of Jordans. So if you didn't see that video, it is probably linked down below. But we're gonna go ahead and we have all this to go through. As you can tell, there's probably a Jordan sitting in there, as you can see. There's a box right here. I wonder if, I wonder if anything's in that box. And then in here, let's see, let's see, we'll, we'll do it. Oh, Ralph Lauren, Polo Ralph Lauren. So we'll wait, we'll wait to do that. But let's go ahead and go through this because there is some good looking clothing in here. We found a lot of clothing and we get this question a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just clean as much clothing as we can. Most of this is very, very nice and clean. Uh, they took care of their stuff. This is like immaculate clothing, to be honest with you. We're gonna give it to as many homeless shelters as we can and really donate it out because we're not gonna sell all this clothing. So we're gonna donate as much as we can. Braids. Here. Not some best. hair can go for some, some hair can go for it so this is a bag is there a lot of it yeah there's a whole bunch yeah wow. it's a bag full of hair so that's huh. not that bad some hair goes for a ton of money ton of money so let's go ahead <laughs> oh my goodness you are lying you are lying bro this is in this is insane i don't want to hurt the box too bad let's see if they're in here something's in here okay polos okay they are used really, this is the most that we've seen used. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're gonna be resellable. They definitely look super, super used, but we'll get a better look when we get to the house. Nike Air Force Ones, they are in there. They look good. They do look good. And we have noticed that they are not in the right boxes. So we will have to go ahead and make sure the, the right boxes get to the right shoe, all right? Here is another pair. This just says, uh, oh, another pair of polo, Ralph Lauren's. Are they suede? Um, no, they're canvas. Oh. Yeah, they're just canvas, so. Hmm. Not too much money right there, but not bad. We'll leave that orange box till later because everybody knows what's in that orange box. Timberlands, Timberlands can be good. Brand new they look like, what? right? Oh yeah. Brand new Timberlands in the box. These things are probably easy 50, 60 dollars. All right, we got uh, something from Italy. Oh, some, oh, some of this stuff is actually really good. Those are nice. Yeah, they're, they're also fancy. new. The, the brand is SIO. Got another orange box in here, and that looks like an Air Jordan box. The Polo box doesn't feel like shoes. Huh. Oh, it is shoes. Oh. oh, they're not bad. These are not Those that are worn. Nice. Yeah, and leather cleaner will clean that up, and that will look literally brand new after I'm done with it. All right, we got some, oh, there's nothing in this box. Rogue, one shoe. Huh. We'll see if we find its other friend. Yeah. So far we have a whole bunch of shoes that don't have friends. Uh, let's go ahead and, ooh, little, ooh. little glimpse there. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're definitely in there. Rampage, let's see what this is. Okay. Uh, these are uh. falling apart. All right, they're in here. They say uh, Nike Air Precision nine and a half, wolf gray and black, see if it's wolf gray and black. They are not Nikes. Yeah. No, we got duped. That's the only box so far that wasn't Nikes. Where are those? Three more boxes in here. This one says bamboo. Let's see what's in bamboo, ready? Oh wow, they're nice. Oh, those are nice. Nice boots. Yeah, we'll go back. I'm telling you, anything real leather, I can clean up pretty good. Here we go. These are supposed to be Jordan Spike Zone. Nine and a half, let's see if they're in here. Be there, be there. Dang, I don't know if they're spike zones, because I don't know they're what spike nice, zones, but though. these things are nice. Another Jordans. Those are really nice. And then the last one in here. Come on, be there, be there. This is where they're supposed to be. Nike Air Pre Precisions. Nice. They're in there also. Another set of Jordans. Again, we will go ahead and clean these bad boys up and we are doing really, really well. Let's go ahead and move this stuff out the way to get to these boxes. Oh. What is oh, that? Oh, they're heavy. I'm a little out of breath from opening all these Jordan boxes. I'm not complaining though, here we go. This, what are these supposed to be? Size 11 and a half, Air Jordan, 13 retros. Wow, those. 
These look new. No, they're not new. No. They're used, but they're in they're really good still, condition. Yeah. And these are all like 2017, it looks like, 2018. So they've been sitting in here quite a while, I'm They're guessing. good sizes, too. Great sizes, nine and a half to 11 and a half. So did you see this? This is a box of crafting stuff. Is it really? Yeah, take a look. So got a box of crafting. Oh, Kayla great. loves the craft, so this will be kept for her, 100%. I'm a big crafter. Big crafters. And this time I'm gonna do the, the elephant in the room here, too, and get this on the trailer. I think this is crafting, too, isn't it? It looks like it. Okay, so yeah, it just has a whole bunch of crafting oh, yeah. stuff in it. These are actually, they look like they're vintage. They're from Kmart. Look at that. Yeah, from Kmart, brand new. $30. $30 back in the day. These PVC lounge chairs do go for a decent amount of money on eBay. like. I think like 60 bucks yeah. and uh so you're talking even if it's 50 that's 200 dollars right there and they're all brand new some of them obviously have been moved around a whole bunch but that's not that bad you look good in one of these chairs on the uh -huh. beach there you go what color you want we got a whole bunch of colors right here i wonder what's in there there oh, glass. can't wait to show you what is right here i got a glimpse of it oh, oh. my goodness pretty good what is this what is that I don't know. Open it up. Let's see. They're watches. <gasps> They're called Rockaware. I don't think that's expensive, but we have like a oh, ton of them. <gasps> ton. What? Oh, this one feels empty. Yep. They're very, they're very heavy. You can, I can feel almost right away. There, it's in here. They always look new, right? They do. So very cool there. Got some, this is trash. Um, I think the rest of this might be clothing. Clothing. And again, what we're gonna do with clothing is we'll go home, go through it. If we find any type of crazy vintage stuff, um, we'll let y'all know. If not, then we're just gonna you know clean it, donate it, or try to sell it in big box for super cheap, or we'll give it away on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. You wanna go for it? Let's go for it. Let's they give, look like kids. Let's give the people what they want. Let's open this up. Are you okay. ready? Um, Skechers. Skechers isn't bad, right? No. See, I thought that these were uh, L.L. Bean. They're not L.L. Bean. And I think that you're right. These are mostly kid shoes. So there's some nice ones right there. Some polos. Yeah. But what we can do, since we have a, you know, a whole bunch of loans, we can donate a whole bunch of these if we can find kids that need these. We'll go ahead and go through those. And, and donate as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Right now we have a ton of shoes. Oh, Tyvek oh. suits. Actually, I shouldn't have thrown them down. We're gonna keep those. Yeah. Never know when you need a Tyvek suit. <gasps> Another Jordan box. Is it heavy? Our first empty one. Really? But we will keep okay. it because yeah. we might have the shoe. Exactly. Because I know we have a lot of Jordan. So we'll go ahead and keep that. I also saw this in the picture. And if it's in here and new, alternators are actually worth like a couple hundred dollars. But we'll see if this one's brand new. Oh, it is new. Really? Yeah. So that's a big old alternator. This thing is probably 150 to 200 dollars. Nice. Yeah. King lion. King lion. Not bad. This thing is heavy. Really? Yeah. This is what I was saying before. Oh. It's a craftsman box. Wow. You want to see if it, anything's in it? Oh, it's pretty light, but this is pretty nice. Oh, one of the tabs are broken on it. Uh, Empty. Tommy Hilfiger. See what's in here. Tommy Hilfiger. Oh. Nice. Some Tommy Hilfiger stuff can go for a decent amount of money. Yeah. What is this that? is interesting. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Feel. I don't know what that is. Shoe. Oh, is that where you put your shoes? Like your um. Oh, you just play them. Guy. Yeah. Oh, you just play your shoes your on shoe them. Display. Yeah, could be. Okay. It says it's a small mirror. It could be a Picasso. Picasso. It's a small mirror. Oh. So this is the last items that we have. This right here is super nice. This is a nice camo. It almost feels waterproof. Columbia. Yeah, Columbia hunting jacket. Nice. What size is that? Oh, what are they? They're for duck. Oh, duck call. They're for duck call. So nice. I did not get a jacket because I'm not really gonna use it for hunting. All right, here is a duffel bag. Got some jerseys in here. Oh. 
the miners. So we did have a set of these right here, the Felas, but we did find another set of small Jordans in here. They're our kids' Jordans. They look super in good condition. Like I said, this has got to be our 20th to 30th pair of Jordans. So again, we're going to go home. It's going to take us a lot of time to go through all this clothing, but I think it's going to be worth it because I think there's some really good stuff in here. All right, right here, it looks like we got some brand new baits, and we actually sold some of these for about $40 the other day, and there's the other one right there. So that is... That's pretty nice. They look like they're a bigger size too, so they'll sell pretty good. Again, in here, it's just a whole bunch of clothing, so we'll go through that at the house. It's just spinners in here, like huh. tons of them. There's a camo crock pot. Huh. That's pretty neat. It's neat. Definitely neat. Those hey, records? These are a ton of records. Uh, these are obviously, they would not be sellable. They're destroyed, I can tell. And there's some 45s down there. We'll go through them, but you can actually sell these as like um, artist lots. Oh. It's super, super cheap in like lots and then go from there. These are the last two things we have to open. So again, a rundown, $175 for the entire unit. That is all in. Let's go ahead and open this one. It's super heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have stuff that's not clothing. This is, um, oh, that's like paperwork, personal paperwork. This is a ton of, ooh, brand new. New look. It was huh. 25 bucks. Hmm. Actually, really, really good condition. Oh, we got, we got gun stuff. Let's see what this is, the brand is, because some of this is worth a ton of money. Um, UTG, that is actually, I don't know that brand, but this is a outer belt for like a police officer, security guard. It looks like it would be a police officer because it does have, I would say security guard. Um, because it does, it doesn't have any type of pistol stuff on it. But these actually are way more expensive than you think. This right here will probably go for 40 bucks. Because usually each one of these, when we would buy them in law enforcement, would be $20 a piece. It's missing the tourniquet, that's the little tourniquet thing. Maybe the tourniquet's in there. Something's wrapped up and it's hard. Ah, it's just a, I don't know what that thing was. It's a, that looks what like. What is that? This thing was wrapped well, up just like God that. thank God it is not. It is not. It's just something you put stuff in. Okay. Okay, not a key. I'm always locus. scared to find drugs in here. This one right here, the, the last thing. The last hoorah. The last hoorah. Looks like, again, a whole bunch of clothing, but this one is way nicer. You got Tommy Hilfiger. You have more Tommy Hilfiger. So this is like a denim jacket. Is this Dickies? Yeah, so like a really nice oh. Dickies jacket. So stuff like that, you know. If it's not worth selling, we'll definitely uh, donate that to somebody that needs it because it's getting super cold here in South Carolina. I wouldn't believe it's supposed to be like 10 degrees. So right there, that's not bad for $175. This is the second part. And in this part, we definitely made way more than our money. In the first part, we made even more money. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch it right there. This was really, really good. How do you like storage units so far? This I is love our, them. This is our second one They're and we definitely. are addicted to them. And we got a lot of good feedback from you all also so thank you so much i did ask if you guys like to see this and majority 98 percent of y'all said do more storage units so we're doing more storage units we have actually already bought another one and uh so we're gonna get this stuff cleaned up go home go through it really really good if we find anything super good we will obviously show you guys but i think the the profit on this one is going to be easy five to ten times depending yeah. on how much we did look up one pair of shoes and they were worth two hundred dollars used so that's not bad appreciate everybody watches if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one